the future of transportation, education, and even pets, all on display here at the 2023 Beyond Expo. I'm going to try a fist bump. Here we go. Found it. Oh, you're so great. Held in May 2023, the Expo provides a global stage for Asia's tech giants and startups to showcase their latest innovations here in their own backyard. Hundreds of exhibitors from across the tech sector traveled here to Macau for this event. From mobility to healthcare, the Beyond Expo offers a glimpse into Asia's booming tech sector. Organizers say over three days, more than 15,000 people visited the Macau conference, the highest attendance since its launch in 2021. Organizers are looking to the Las Vegas-based Consumer Electronics Show for inspiration. The Asia edition of CES was canceled indefinitely due to the pandemic, and the Beyond Expo is hoping to fill that void. If you look at the visitors, visitors to Las Vegas, you, I think you'll be surprised that there are so many actually come from Asia. From our point of view, there is no such thing similar to CES happening in Asia. I think our vision is to kind of to help the world to see what's really happening in Asia. This year's show was heavily dominated by consumer tech from mainland China. From robots that pack a punch. Go like this, go like this. To electric cars that can fly. It's what's called an eVTOL, an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Manufacturers believe they will be the greener, quieter, and cheaper answer to helicopters, and one day may be used like a taxi in the sky. Ehang, a global leader in the development of flying vehicles, showcased its latest prototype at the Beyond Expo. VT30 the VT30 is designed for intercity transportation. It is capable of flying for 100 minutes with a flight range of 300 kilometers. It's an autonomous vehicle that does not need a runway. What do you think will be the greatest challenges facing your company as you launch this new flying EV? Our company wants to be able to expand transportation. At present, helicopters and planes are part of business needs, but they have not fully entered people's daily lives. So we want to change that with this electric aircraft. In 2021, Deloitte estimated that more than 200 companies worldwide were developing eVTOL aircraft for low-altitude urban use. While the industry is still in its infancy, Morgan Stanley forecasts that the urban air mobility sector could soar to one trillion U.S. dollars globally by 2040. Observers say, however, we won't be seeing passengers flying commercially anytime soon. I think that eVTOLs will really be on the scene in the next five years, ten years. Exactly how far they get, as in you know, what kind of payloads they will be taking. Will they be taking busloads of people? Uh, I suspect that might be a, a few decades down the road. The main challenges for EV tolls, there's a regulatory category because we've got to make sure that they're safe. And I suspect the technology will look after itself. The big one, though, is battery. If we can get battery technology to be just 10 times better, 10 times would be, boy, the holy grail. But Aerofugia, a subsidiary of China carmaker Zhili, is more optimistic, believing regulatory approval may only be a few short years away. I think that the next two years are very important for the global EV toll industry. When the first round of type certificates are given out, we will try to commercialize it. We believe that the public will be able to gradually enjoy the service in 2025 and 2026. Until then, the tech companies are continuing to test for safety, laying the groundworks to ensure a smooth takeoff when the time comes.